Hello, everybody. Welcome back to your English lesson. So, how about our sitcom today? Lucky Agatha going to a health farm. I'm so jealous. Anyway, let's look at today's lesson. We are going to study the future tense using going to. Then we will look at special expressions using the word have. Hmm, we're going to have fun. And finally, we will learn how to talk about household chores and appliances. Oh, do you mind if I dust the desk during the lesson? I'm joking. Then maybe if you study hard, we can go to a health farm too. <laughs> so, the future tense using going to. If we want to speak about something that we have planned for the future, we use the verb to be plus going to. This weekend, I'm going to visit a health farm. Next summer, he's going to travel to Asia. Agatha asks, who is going to look after this place while I'm away? Do you remember? Let's see another sentence. They are not going to go to the cinema tonight. In this example, you can leave out the verb to go and simply say, they are not going to the cinema tonight. We can also use going to if we want to make a prediction based on what we can see at the moment. For example, if it is cloudy, we can say, I think it's uh, going to rain. Do you see? Now, Let's compare this to the other future form, will. We use will when we want to make an offer. I will help you with your homework. We also use it with a promise. I won't forget to call you. We use it for predictions without evidence. You'll love the film. And for instant decisions. For example, if the phone rings, we say, I'll get it. Right, let's change the subject. We are now going to look at certain expressions that use the word have. In the sitcom today, Agatha said she needed to have a shower. Victor said you need to have a break. We have many uses for the verb to have in English. You can have breakfast, have a drink, have time to do something, have a baby. Wow! I think I am going to have a nap after all of this studying. Do you know what I hate doing more than anything else? Ironing clothes. It is such a boring chore. Do you remember what other chores Agatha mentioned? Cleaning the oven, washing the curtains, vacuuming the carpet, and then Victor mentioned sweeping the floor dusting the furniture and doing the shopping. No, not the fun kind of shopping. Doing the shopping means shopping for food and household items. Hmm, it's so boring. To do these chores, you need an iron or a broom to sweep the floor, a mop to wash the floor, a vacuum cleaner, you know what? I think I'll let Dylan do the vacuuming today. I, I don't think I feel very well. Mm -hmm. I better go and lie down. See you next time. Happy studying. Here's the tea. Can you pass me the mug?